Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're here in beautiful Everett, Pennsylvania. This is a super cool... Um, outdoor living space. Yeah, well, it's an outdoor living space common. But yeah, they do have kind of an outdoor living space going here. They have a grill over there, sink, nice fireplace over here. And I can see by the fireplace that these guys are spending time out here. And I'm excited today. Well, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We're going to uh, put a flagstone walkway in here, uh, wrap it over into here, and put a few steps in right here. And you know that when you have that view right there, that right here. Jackson, what, what, what are we putting in here? We're putting in awesomeness right here. Beautiful, bubbling rocks, urns, wonderful water feature. You got it! You heard it. You heard it from Jackson right there. When you have a space like this, you need to bring the water in here. Why? Because you need life, that's why. You can have a beautiful hardscape, but it's just dead until you bring that waterscape in. So we're putting in a beautiful fountain feature right here. Three bubbling rocks, three urns, stack slate urns, three bowls, just a beautiful custom fountain display right here. You're not gonna know which to watch, the fireplace over there. Yeah, you will. You're gonna wanna watch the water feature, feature, of course. <laughs> and we're putting a bunch of lights on it, so at night it's gonna be all lit up. And then that walkway is gonna continue on over in here, and we're gonna put some additional seating over in here. Uh, that you can see the paint lines. There's a seating wall going along there, and this spot will get leveled out, and we'll put a nice uh, flagstone patio in here. Just because that space is a little bit small, we want some additional seating, and it's gonna tie the walkway and this seating area together. People are gonna be able to walk down those steps, along the walkway, spend some time staring at the waterfall, then walk over in here. It's all gonna be connected. You always want interaction, interaction. If you're building a waterfall, you wanna build your living space out around it so that you're gonna be able to interact with it. I'm excited for this build. This is gonna be fun. I love putting these little, this is actually a big one, uh, fountain features in the rocks and the moss and the stumps. And it's like an artist's dream. You get this big, it's a little bit like going to the candy store and being allowed to pick out whatever you want. So. Stay tuned. Today we're gonna tear out some um, tear out some trees, put in the basin, and maybe start thinking about how we want to paint this picture. Right, Deej? No, we're, we're just. This is actually what we're gonna think about. Oh, hold on. Let, let me. I cannot some believe pictures. I forgot this. This is what we're gonna be doing tonight: smoked brisket. You know what, guys? Let's clean up. It's time oh, to get God. back there and help Matt. I don't know. Look at that brisket, sample it. He's one of the owners of the company. The whole Tussie team is going to Matt's place tonight and we're gonna to get together for fun and games and smoke brisket. He started smoking that brisket last evening at like 10 o'clock. So I haven't eaten for three days. I'm saving up for this. I don't know if my, like, I'm not gonna be able to think quite right. I'm a little bit distracted about what's gonna to happen tonight. We work hard here, but we know how to have fun too. I just dug all of this giant big hole out by with by hand with a shovel, so I'm I'm pretty tired. This is the hole for our underground reservoir. We all spent a long time sticking together those uh, modular aqua box. This is what's going to store all the water underneath there for the basin. So we're going to put in our rock pad, our liner, then we're going to set in our pump vault. This is going to house our pumps. And then we're gonna stack the whole hole, get it? The whole hole full of these aqua blocks. And then we'll put a thin layer of gravel on top and then we'll start building on top of that. 
So the pumps are gonna sit down in these vaults. They're gonna pump it up through a bowls or urns or bubbling rocks. It's gonna fall down through the gravel into the aqua blocks and sucked back to the pump and just it's completes one cycle just like that over and over. I dug a little bit deeper in the one corner so that I will be able to sink these pumps down below. That way I can utilize uh, every drop of water in the basin. A fountain like this can generate a lot of splash because there's so many urns and tall things like the that super tall bubbling boulder and that tall uh, stacks light urn. It can create a lot of splash so you need you need a lot of area uh, to catch that splash. That's why it's this big. All right, in goes the liner. All righty, take a look at this. What a big, beautiful canvas. Now tomorrow, DJ and I are gonna bring our paintbrushes and start making nice things. Should we bring Jackson? Yeah, we don't have skid steer work anymore. Yeah, I mean, there's no machine work. I don't know if we can bring Jackson or not. Where is he? He left. All right, because we got the basin in today, we're allowed to have brisket tonight, which was kind of the whole goal of today. Little tip when you have two of these pump vaults side by side, because the lids go out over the top of the vault, sometimes you can't, like, if they're smashed hard against each other, you, you aren't able to get the lids on. So I take an aqua block panel and I stick it in between those two, like that, and then I can put these two lids on, and I still have a gap there. And it doesn't matter how hard they smash, together, I can always get my lids off and on. It'd be super nice if they made the lids go on the inside instead of the outside, but because they don't, that's one of the things you can do to prevent problems. Boom! Fun day tomorrow. All right, we're at the point now. We backfilled the basin this morning. Deej and I are gonna go up there and we're gonna look at all our urns, our bowls, our bubbling boulders, our stumps, and we're gonna come up with a plan of what's gonna look amazing down here. All right, let's go look at them. Okay, so here's what we got. We have a larger stack slate urn, a medium, and a small, and then we've got three bowls. Let's look at our bubbling boulders that we have. I'm definitely using it in the back, that one right there. And we have a really big bubbling boulder here. And then two smaller ones. We don't really have much of a medium one. Hmm. What I'm thinking is this one in the center, in the back, bowl here on top, spilling out here. Beside it, the tall urn, which would be even taller yet. And then on that side, we could work in, just to break it up, we could work in that giant stump. And then on the other side of that, we could put our bubbling, our big bubbling boulder. So this is centerpiece, this the absolute highest piece that we have, except for maybe the tall urn. And then right in the middle, this big bowl, or medium-sized bowl perched on top, spilling out over here. I'm gonna get a bowl and see what it looks like on here, like this. We want to cut it down because you don't want that, you won't want them to look like they're perched right on top. But that would have a 40 inch drop, a thread coming out of here. I think that would look cool. If we take our saw, we can notch this in because one of the things we don't like is one of these bowls that's just kind of perched up on top of something. I always want it to look grounded and uh, sunken. So we'll probably take our saw and notch that out so we can sink this thing in a little bit. This already has a bit of a natural but I don't like to see, you know, that edge right here. I want it to be sunken into the rock because, you know, it grew there. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm taking down this. Did you carry that one? Right on it. Just saying, that's about, that's about all this machine can handle. Well, we're gonna take it down there and set it where we want it. Now that, folks, is a testimony to the strength of aqua blocks. We put maybe five inches of gravel on there and that rock was so big that I barely managed to get it in there with this E42. And 
They never even cracked. That's pretty impressive. Also, I'm excited about that rock. I'm glad I brought it. Like, I didn't have a vision until I saw that rock. And this whole feature is built around that piece. That's like, once I have that in place, everything else just falls there. And what I like about it is that steep, straight front edge. It's gonna be perfect to put a bowl up there. Now, let's go strap up our big bubbling rock. I'm not gonna place it yet, but let's strap it up and bring it down. And then, all, as well as the big urn and all of that stuff. And that way we have it here when we're ready to place it. Cause that's gonna be the third piece I'm gonna set. The tallest urn is gonna be the next piece I'm gonna set. All right, let's go get it. Okay, I'm gonna give you an update here before I get so excited that I forget to talk to you at all. Here's what I'm thinking. We have a really big bubbling rock that's gonna have water coming off both sides. That's just the way it's shaped. And I'm thinking of tucking it up against here and bring it over here so this whole center can be a big pool. And then it's gonna, water's gonna fall into the pool this way. It's gonna fall out of the pool that way, which is gonna be good because we have a walkway coming up there and we want some visual over here. And then I'm thinking of a low, well, not really low, about this high, just a regular rock and set a bowl on top of it, similar to what I did there only a lot lower. By the way, that one needs cut in yet. It's just kind of setting up there to help me visualize it. And then getting a nice thread out the front of the feature here. And then this pool in here, I want to be like this deep. And the pool here, I want to be only this deep because I want a long thread coming down there. So what I'm gonna do is set a rock in here that's gonna be a spillway rock. So we have a tall fall, a tall pool here, and then it's gonna fill spill out of that uh, pool into a lower pool down here, like a waterfall in between these two rocks. And then a low pool right here, maybe the biggest bowl down here, a bubbling rock over there, and then a stump right here to help with the grade change. And then we'll put the little urn over here beside the stump, something like this. The reason for that is, you know, I like to try to keep these things balanced a little bit. You know, picture a stump over here and then urn, urn, urn. This one's gonna be sunken a little bit cause it's too close to the same height as that one in my opinion. And then big bowl right here. So yeah, hopefully you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So urn, 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 differing heights because that's just how it's supposed to be to look right. And then bowl, 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 differing heights. And then bubbling rock over here and then maybe bubbling rock here. I don't know yet with those bubbling rocks. I almost have to build more before I know exactly where I'm gonna put those. But I think I have a plan here. Do you like it, Deej? Yeah, I like it. You like the idea? I like that big urn up there. That thing's whopper. This this boulder here, right here, made my day. Let's go drink Coke on underneath the roof and look at the radar. Okay, whatever. Rain for an hour then. Okay, folks, so here's what I'm thinking. Stand back and look at that, Deej. I'm trying to create balance and height difference that looks good. So I think, Deej, if anything, this guy should maybe, no, I don't want him a little any lower. I don't You're want it the same height as this one. This the only thing I don't like right now is how close these are the same height, but this thing's gonna get cut down in to create a sunken look. I think that'll fix it and then I'll be happy with it. So this is gonna be a big pool in here. <laughs> I've never really built one that big before. And uh, I'm gonna still set a spillway rock right here because remember, I want this pool to be this high. Uh, what we could do is fill in a bunch of gravel. Then it wouldn't need to be nearly that deep. And you'll have feet off of this, 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 and this that will help plus the, oh, a flow growing in there. So. Yeah, spillway, this hike, dropping into pool that's this hike. Uh, it's gonna be the same hike as there. So, yep, got a bubbling boulder here, tall urn there, a long thread of water coming off of here. We're thinking of a long thread of water into there. And I don't know if you noticed, but I tried to keep the spacing the same on the three things. So urn, urn, and urn, differing height, but still those three tie together. Spacing is the same. Same way with these uh, bowls, bowl, bowl, 
bowl. The spacing is about equal on those. And then I did the same thing with bubbling boulder, bubbling boulder, bubbling boulder over there. That's one of the things that you'll notice if it's not that way. If I'd have had a cluster of three boulders over here, then all urns and bowls over there, it wouldn't have looked as well. So that keeps everything spaced right. So now we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon running plumbing. Uh, we're gonna cut notches into those bowls to sink them down into the boulder a little bit. Uh, we're gonna level stuff, we're gonna foam stuff. So there's gonna be a lot of plumbing, foaming, and filling in little cracks there so that we can foam that off. See, that's way too, way too big over there. We can't just build a foam wall there, so we're gonna set rocks in there. Same way with stuff back here. This is just completely unfinished yet. I have some big stumps that I'm gonna bring in here. Well, there's one sitting over there. I think that one's gonna look really good, propped up right here with that long root re reaching out over here. Does that make sense, Deej? Yep. That's what I wanna do with that one. All right, let's go do the plumbing. <laughs> 